right, we'll go ahead and start with an opening statement from Coach. <laughs> First of all, I'd like to congratulate Wright State on a phenomenal year. It's really been a, a battle with them here the last several years, and I'm sure will continue to be. And you know, they're a true champion in terms of uh, you know how they run their program, and certainly the game tonight. They're a, they're a team you have to beat. Uh, they're, they're never going to beat themselves. Uh, so Scott and them do a great job. Um, couldn't be more proud of the guys that are standing right here today or sitting right here next to me. Um, I thought we came out with tremendous energy, tremendous defensive energy. Um, thought con took, took control of the game in terms of our physicality and really wanted we wanted to do game plan wise. You know, the shot went in the uh, the ball went in the basket, which helps, but it was because of ball movement. You know, we had what was it, 22 assists on 29 made field goal attempts or made field goals, which is outstanding. Um, you know, emotional night last night that really bled right into today, to be honest with you, because there was really no, I don't think these, these guys will tell you, there hadn't been a whole lot of separation between what dad is right now by the time we got back and we rolled in today. So I think it worked out well for us in terms of emotionally, but uh, really proud of these young men and um, can't wait to get in the locker room and celebrate with them, to be honest with you. All right, we'll start with questions for the student athletes, please. Uh, for any of you guys, just just how much fun was that first half? It seemed like anything that you guys were throwing up there was going in, and also just kind of talk about the contributions you got from uh, Zion and Robinson. Zion playing more since whole unit was there. Just getting off to a great rhythm, starting off in the first half was a great feeling. Just knowing that we could get stops the way we were, and it could – obviously translate to offense the way you said shots were going in. Z came in off the bench with great energy, and he helped us a great amount just coming in, making shots, making plays on offensive end and defensive end, and he was just a huge contribution tonight, to tonight's win. I'd say basically piggyback off what he said. I mean, we came out with intense energy. We made everything hard on him, and then I thought we took very good shots, and I thought we got the ball moving a lot, which – when we do that, we're tough to stop offensively. And so that led right into, like you said, Z coming off the bench and giving us a quick spark. Um, I think he had 11, about 11 or 13 in the first half. Uh, that's what we got out of him um, most of the year. He had a little bit of a confidence slump. We just told him to keep stay with it. But we knew this is an I Robinson that we had on our team. So it was great for him to come out in the biggest game of the year and, and do what we, we knew he could do the whole time. How much did last year's appearance here, you guys had a difficult game with Cleveland State in the first round. How much did you kind of stew over that in the off season and you know motivate you a little bit coming into this tournament this year? Obviously, there's some like natural motivation there. The year didn't end the way we wanted to, and it was tough. And it's a long off season that way. And uh, JT and myself had a chance to experience that first ch title that we got um, my sophomore year, his freshman year. And, it was it was special, and we knew we we tasted it. and We wanted more of it. And uh, Tyler got to taste the NCAA tournament when he was at Louisville, and we knew coming in, if we just grind every day, we didn't want to focus on the results. We were a very process oriented uh, team, and we knew if we just went in every day, and we had our ups and downs all year, and we just knew felt like there was no denying this team. We just felt like no matter how hard you punch us, no matter how many times we got put down, we just always got back up and just kept fighting. I mean, we had a extremely rough February and probably people counted us out by the way we were playing but uh, just the way this team grinds and the way the camaraderie we have in that locker room just we weren't going to be denied and we came out to that I think you guys just could see it a little bit just how much fun we have playing together and how much we enjoy playing basketball together. Drew how, I, I know you want to enjoy this night but how much do you think you guys could be a, a tough out and and want to not just be in the NSA tournament but win the NSA tournament? We're definitely enjoying this now, but um, a tough out, I mean, I just – two teams got to play in the game. So, I mean, we're going in to win that game just as much as the other team is. And like you said, we're going to enjoy it, but we're going to get right back to work here soon because we're not done yet. We have more to accomplish. And we've been there once, and the only way to build on it, we like to build on our program is to win a game and then win two and then play in the second weekend and keep going forward. And But we're not going to worry about that. Like I said, we're process-oriented. We're just going to work on getting better and grinding and get back because that's all we know how to do. We just know – how to work and keep getting better. Any other questions for the student athletes? You guys are free to go. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. I can celebrate with you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and continue with questions for coach.
Coach, was it in your initial game plan to pull Tyler at about the five minute mark in the first half, even though he already had seven points? No, uh, I felt like the, the pace of the game was so fast that we needed to make sure we utilized our bench. And then Z had given us some really good minutes, so I was able to keep Tyler on the bench a little longer than we typically do. Um, you know, you go in with a plan, a rotational plan every game, but the pace was really the way we wanted it. And it's really the first time we played Wright State where the pace was where we wanted it to be. And with that, I wanted to make sure guys got the proper amount of rest uh, early in the game. And that was a large part to taking them out that quickly. Coach, was it ever surreal at, uh, with the number of shots that were going in for you guys compared to the number of shots that weren't going in for them that you maybe thought that it's going to balance out at some point in this game and it's going to be closer than what it was? Yeah, well, I don't know about surreal, but you know, we've, we've been a, you know, we're the number one offensive team in the league. Um, have been all year in terms of our advanced numbers. So I knew we'd be able to make plays. They're, they're a very difficult team to score against. So again, what enabled that to happen was our defense. We got stops. When we get stops, we get out in transition. And we're tough to stop in transition. If you're constantly getting the ball out of the net, then you can't live in transition. So it starts with our defense first. Um, you know, naturally, we hit some big end of shot clock shots, some things because we were in rhythm, we had it going. Um, and then when you're playing a team like Wright State, you're always waiting for the shoe to drop in terms of their ability to really get it going. So I was really proud of our guys to be able to sustain a defensive effort and make sure that there wasn't extended runs on their part. And uh, you know, there's two ways to look at extended runs. One is if you keep scoring, you're fine. The other piece is just don't let them score and you'll keep your lead. So we, we tend to focus on the defensive part of it. Did you allow yourself last night going back to the hotel to kind of relish in that moment, watch the highlight a little bit, or did you just go right into preparation for right it? Right into preparations. We didn't get back to the hotel until uh, about 1 o'clock in the morning. So when we got back, I met with the team, and actually that's what we talked about. We said, all right, two things, physically, calories, and sleep. Uh, and I know the sleep's going to be hard. More importantly, mentally, I need you to turn your phones off. Get off social media. Uh, you know, let's live in the moment right now. We'll be able to do that tomorrow after the game. Now, whether they took that advice or not, I don't know. But Drew McDonald he saw, him, saw him in the elevator this morning and uh, closer to this afternoon, and he said, Coach, I turned my phone off when I got back to the room. It was the best thing I could do. So uh, we needed to refocus ourselves. And I think being in this situation before has certainly helped. And Robinson, he's been a little bit quieter towards the latter part of conference season. Were you even just a little bit surprised at the way he exploded with 15 and 9? Uh, I was not surprised just because I knew he had it in him. And uh, he's a big game kid in terms of his ability to step up when need be. He has, his role's been limited here lately, and, and that's large part to Tate and some different you know, decisions that we've made. But you know, he's been consistent the entire time. And the thing that I talked to him about was your, your moment's coming. And when he had it going, we, we rode it. And uh, we were able to get some guys some other minutes. And you know, he played 27 minutes. And it wasn't just Z. I mean, Dantez Walton went for 15 and 14. So the, you know, those two guys stepping up in a game like that is uh, you know, certainly what you hope for. Any other questions? It's, I know you want to enjoy this one, but mm -hmm. you can look ahead at all. Like, how much does it help that those guys have, you know, some of these guys have been in the NCAA tournament, you've been in the NCAA tournament, um, to help your chances? It, I, I think it helps preparation. You know, the nice thing about being, you know, a tournament that's, uh, that's done before Selection Sunday, several days, you get to enjoy this a little bit because you don't know who you're playing. But at the same time, we'll have a plan in place for our guys to prepare, uh, to try to play well. and. You know, with the way we play today, hopefully we'll be able to catapult that into the NCAA tournament. You know, you know, Drew said it best. You know, when you have the opportunity to experience something the first time and you don't ultimately achieve the ultimate of getting a chance to move forward in advance, uh, it puts a little bit more emphasis on it the second time and maybe look at this less as a gift, and more as an opportunity. All right, thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you.